Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of The Thing Is. Today I have with me Ochami Kwame, who I don't even really need to intro, really, because I'm sure loads of people already know you. <laughs> Very pampering. <laughs> so I've brought you on here to talk about relationships. So today I'm going to really grill you. I want to know all that you know about marriage, relationships, because you even wrote a book, didn't you, on relationships right yes. Mm -hmm. yes. what's it called again love lockdown okay i just wanted to say <laughs> i know <laughs> yeah so we're going to be talking about all things to do with relationships so to start with um to the outside world you have this really amazing almost perfect marriage i'm doing like this because that's what it appears to be no one really knows what goes on behind cl closed doors right so you have this amazing marriage now how did you get to that point or how are you known for that Hmm. I think there will be two key reasons. Mm -hmm. It's orientation and goal. Okay. So I, when I look at my marriage, I first thank my parents. Mm -hmm. And then I thank my wife's parents. Right. For staying together no matter what. Mm -hmm. You know, so my parents were together for 25 or 23 years. Okay. Until my father died. Right. And Annika's parents have been together for 55 years. Wow. And they are still going strong. Wow. So I think we both had the advantage Mm -hmm. Of observing at first hand mm. how the marriage relationship is curated. Right. So right. when we met, we both have role models that we look up to mm. who stayed in the marriage no matter what. Okay. You know? So mm -hmm. I think that is the first place. Right, so right, right. it's I was fortunate enough mm. to come from well, we are fortunate enough to come from families where mm. where the the romantic, you know, family relationship, the mm. nucleatic relationship was strong. And then right. the second thing is goal. So that's mm -hmm. the orientation. The second thing is goal. So mm -hmm. I, just still connected to the first one, mm -hmm. I want to hold my wife's hands mm -hmm. when I'm 86 or 87 oh. and she's 80 <laughs> and say we made it. Mm -hmm. You know, that is the vision. Yeah. And so we both put ourselves there before we die and then we walk backwards towards it, mm -hmm. observing the sacrifices that we are supposed to do or to make, to make sure that that type of long-term relationship right. can happen. So it's I, orientation and mm -hmm. goal. I hear that. The reason I'm interjecting is because I don't think anybody ever goes into marriage and says, oh, I don't want to make it to 80 with this person. I believe that everybody has that goal. Nobody wants to break up. Yes. So how, how does it happen that some people make it and some people don't? I think it's, it's, got to, it's still got to do with the way you are raised mm -hmm. and the... So if you are raised to be a healthy child mm -hmm. and you grow up in a healthy environment, mm -hmm. there's high possibilities that you pick a healthy partner mm -hmm. and have a healthy relationship. Right, but right. if you grow up broken and mm -hmm. your positive self-talk mm -hmm. is negative, right. you consistently tell yourself, I will be up to no good, mm. I am not pleasurable, I'm not enjoyable. Right. You are going to choose somebody just like you. Right. You know, I'm not saying that everybody <laughs> that cho everybody that ended up ended up in maybe a toxic relationship mm. is toxic. But there are right. other factors. Other factors will also be um, because of your personality trait mm. and the type of person that you chose is right. completely incompatible. Mm. You know, and there are so many factors. But for Annika and I, yeah. I think it's about. I think we are both intelligent enough to know mm. that marriage is a really difficult thing to curate. Mm. And since you bring children into it, you must become intentional. Right. You must live your life consciously and cautiously mm -hmm. to make sure that you get to where you are going right. by observing the sacrifices that you are supposed to make. Okay. Yes. Okay. So let me ask you this. So in the previous podcast, we've been talking a lot about modern women, traditional women, if a modern woman can actually get married. So tell me, what do men look for in a woman that makes them marriage material? I know that's a tough question, <laughs> that, that, right? That, that's so this, this, <laughs> that's a, a, a meme of this guy who had three chicks mm -hmm. or three girls right. that he had to choose from. So mm -hmm. he gave each one of them $100,000. Okay, nice. And then he wanted to see what they are going to do with it. And based on that, he would choose his wife. Okay. You know, so one started a business in his name and okay. brought everything and the business is thriving. Right. The other one bought a house for his mother. Mm -hmm. And then the other one used it to fix her bottles. <laughs> <laughs> so, that she, so that he would look exciting. And so he sat down with all the wise men. And when it was time for mm -hmm. him to choose a wife, he chose the one with the bottles. What? Exactly. 
So that's to tell you, another person will choose the one that loves his mother. Right. Another person will choose the one that registered a business. Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't think that all men are looking for the same type of woman. Right. When I was marrying my wife 14 mm -hmm. years ago, I remember I told her, I'm going to love you. Mm -hmm. But there are only two things that you need to do for me. Right. It's to never disrespect me in public mm -hmm. and never cheat on me. Right. Since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. You know, so these were the two most important things mm -hmm. that I was considering that she should not do mm -hmm. when we're getting married. If you ask me again today, <laughs> you know, uh -huh. 18 years later, right. those things are, it means nothing to me. Because mm. if I'm doing something foolish in public, why shouldn't my wife say it? <laughs> exactly. Good point. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, why is respect so important? So it depends on, on what that man wants. I requested for, for fidelity mm -hmm. because I'd been with so many relationships where I was unfaithful to their girls mm -hmm. and so many girls were unfaithful to me. So mm. I thought it was the most important thing. Right, but right. today it isn't. Mm. The mo if I am to choose a wife today, mm -hmm. you know, if, if I was starting all over again, I would look for a person that is healthy. Right. Healthy in the mind, mm. healthy in the heart, mm. healthy in the body. That would be the key thing that I'll look for. Mm. And once that person is healthy, I'll find out if that person understands the concept of love. Mm -hmm. You know, is it a transaction for that person? Or does it mean to give, 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 and, yeah. and, and not want it back? Mm -hmm. You know, if that person is intelligent, of course, love right. and intelligence are the same. Mm -hmm. But And if that person is willing to use their intelligence to make sure that I am happy. Right. Mm -hmm. So these are the things I will look for. So I will look for health, a healthy mind, mm -hmm. and a healthy body. And I will look for love for, for yourself and love for me. And I think that if you choose a, a woman or a man mm -hmm. who is not broken or who has already fixed himself, mm -hmm. gone through the process of enlightenment and fixed himself, mm -hmm. that person knows well that everything that he does to you also happens to him. But I feel like you're speaking from a place where, a place of experience because you've been in, ma in a marriage for so long. But a lot of people were just picking a partner based on love, right? Oh, I love this person. So let's get married. Let's make it happen. And a lot of the time we don't actually know really well the person's background or if the person is even broken. These are not things that we are necessarily taught to, to think about before you get married. And so we miss a lot of that. So how do you, there's no way to correct it because by the time you realize that there are these issues, it's too late. You've already signed the contract. Exactly. So that is why our foremothers, just a few hundred years ago, a few 50 years ago, mm -hmm. would, before two people in, in, in a Ghanaian community, mm -hmm. in a Kano and ever community, mm -hmm. decide that they are dating or can go out to say they are dating. This right. is what happens. When the, the, the lady um, matures or mm -hmm. reaches puberty right. and begins to menstruate, the old ladies in the society will bring her together mm -hmm. to begin to teach her, groom her, mm -hmm. cut her nails, teach her about marriage, teach mm -hmm. her about cooking, about work, how to become industrious, go on for a long time. Right. And then once the whole preparation is ready, mm -hmm. they will have her swallow an egg yes. through using her hard palate and her tongue mm -hmm. for fertility. Right. And once all that is ready, they'll parade her through the, 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 the community mm -hmm. for men to see she's right. Oh my gosh. And then the <laughs> men will choose. Uh -huh. But before, and so the man will find this young lady maybe a day or two weeks after mm -hmm. to say, I want to be your husband. Right. But before they can begin to say we are dating, mm -hmm. what they do is that the man will go and tell his uncle that I want to date. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so his uncle will launch an investigation into Yah's relationship, mm -hmm. into Yah's family right. to look at Longevity of their marriages, their mental health, mm. look at how industrious the women are, look at how everything. So this will be done minus sex, right. therefore minus emotional attachment. Mm -hmm. And so it's not even the man who is going to be with the woman who is doing these investigations. Right. The investigation is launched by her, his family. Right. Now, once the family is certain that this woman is good for their, for their niece mm -hmm. or nephew, yeah. then they will go and introduce themselves to the woman. And mm -hmm. the woman's family will spend another 40 days or another uh, three months also investigating the man's family. So once both <laughs> families accept that 
we are going to be married because don't forget mm-hmm. that marriage in Africa it's not a marriage between two people. It's yeah. not a relation. It's a relationship between two, two families. families. So once both families accept mm-hmm. that they they are going to allow mm-hmm. their wards to be together, mm-hmm. then they will go and do knocking. Yes. And then they can both tell people that we are courting to be married. Right, right. So in that case, that whole concept of not mm-hmm. knowing, mm-hmm. not finding out, not yes. asking has been dealt with by family members. But today... But we don't do that anymore, do uh, we? Not the, to that level. We but, don't. Exactly. But once you are dating someone and you sit down first, second date and you have both decided to date exclusively mm-hmm. and you are going forward, you've gone past the concept of I like you, you mm-hmm, like me, mm-hmm. we watch the same movies. I think certain questions like... What are your likes and dislikes? Mm-hmm. What are your short, mid, and long-term goals? Yeah. What did your ex-girlfriend say about you? Mm. What are the negative things that people say about you? Your level of education. How much money do you make? Mm. How many people do you owe? How many banks do you owe? How many telephone numbers? What's mm. your concept of polygamy and monogamy? Right. Are you, right. you know... I think all these questions should be asked. Mm-hmm. And once these questions are asked and answered honestly... Then you will go into the relationship knowing that I am marrying a mm-hmm. polygamous man. And therefore, if he goes to have another girl, he has not cheated on me. I knew it and I subscribed to it. Okay. So I feel like what you're saying sounds great on paper. But does that work in real life? Why shouldn't it work? Well, first of all, I feel like sometimes... When it comes to these things, there's not necessarily 100% honesty. And how much can the woman, the girl actually say, I like this guy, or maybe she doesn't really like him. I mean, how much can you say? The reason I'm saying that is because one thing I found in Ghanaian households or even African households is that there's a lot of things that get buried that people don't talk about. A lot of things get swept under the carpet. So... Like, you know, you hear stories even when two people did get married, the husband is beating the wife, the wife runs back to the family house and says, oh, he's beating me, I don't want to be there, or he wants too much sex, I don't want to be there. And then the, the so family put her in a car, take, send her back to the husband. Yes, yeah, so of, of course, for too much sex, you subscribe. <laughs> but for the beating... But you didn't know, you yeah. didn't know he's going to be on you every day. Like. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, I mean, I mean, but honestly, yes, it happens in our relation, in, in, in our part of the world. Mm-hmm. Why? Because of our orientation, because culturally, that is who we are. But I honestly think that in modern time, Mm -hmm. if you are dating a man or a woman so that you guys get married, Mm -hmm. I think that you need to ask all the important questions and have the intuition Mm -hmm. to know whether they are lying or not. Right. But (laughs) But if you do not know whether they are lying or not, and you go into the relationship blinded mm. by your emotional or chemical, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. uh, uh, you know, chemical generations because you are shagging already, mm-hmm. because you are <laughs> already into heavy petting, right. because you've told everyone, you've posted them on social mm-hmm. media, and you let all these attachments blind you, and you go into the marriage, and now he's beating you. You shouldn't blame anyone. You shouldn't mm-hmm. run back. Mm. You know, then you should go for counseling. Right. That is if that person is up to it or mm. up for it. So I think that the key, most important thing in marriage is courting. Mm-hmm. That courting period must be done intelligently. Because once so, it happens like that, then the marriage might be enjoyable. Okay. So do you believe that while you're courting, there should be no physical elements into it? So no sex, no petting, no anything? If I say that, I'll be a hypocrite. Because... <laughs> Because <laughs> if, <laughs> if if you are going to buy mm-hmm. a Ferrari, mm-hmm. or you need to test drive it right. to know if it drives well, <laughs> if the seats fit. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Seeing as you said that, now I'm gonna ask you no, the but, next question. But, but let, let me let me finish. Uh-huh. If the, the seats fit well, mm-hmm. however, I do not think that it should happen in the first day, right. or in the first three months, mm-hmm. or in the first. Five months at least. You need to know the person you are going to have that type of energetic interaction mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. before. So I think that you need to be completely sure mm. that this is the one. Otherwise, for a woman, your body counts yeah. will disturb you in mm. the future. Right. And it will affect your relation, your the true people mm. that want to spend time with you. Right. It can affect you health-wise, mm-hmm. a pelvic inflammation diseases, mm-hmm. you know. 
cancers yeah. and pregnant unwanted pregnancies mm-hmm. and things. So yes, you can try it, mm-hmm. but you have to wait until you know that wow. this is the one before. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you can also use it to check the men mm-hmm. because if you say no sex until I know mm-hmm. and they still want sex, then you know that they have come for sex. Right? <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because. When marriages go sour, it's mm-hmm. not only women who suffer. Although the women suffer more, mm-hmm. men also suffer a lot. And yeah. seeing as in a part of the world, the man cannot cry, mm-hmm. you know, and we can tell people when that we are, yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. So we all suffer. Mm-hmm. So uh, if you meet a reasonable man mm-hmm. and he says, let's have sex or you want sex and he says, wait, mm-hmm. let us get to know each other better. Mm-hmm. That person is probably going to take you somewhere. That's a green flag, right? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, yes. so let me ask you this tricky question then. So say you test drive the car. Mm-hmm. Everything is perfect apart from that one element. It was it was a disappointment. Like you're sadly, 20 seconds it was over. What should you do? <laughs> Your families have already talking, talked, you know. You, you've, <laughs> like now I, what do you do? What I, can you say? I think that... <laughs> I think that the the most important part of marriage is sex. Mm -hmm. People say that and I get sad. That's Mm -hmm. what people say. That is not the most important thing in marriage. The most important thing in marriage is mental resilience. Mm -hmm. It's love. It's getting to understand what love is, Mm -hmm. which means not a two-way traffic. That's a transaction, which means I am going to love support, protect, and project your needs no mm-hmm. matter what. Mm. Once you are there with the person, right. something as easy as copulation is nothing. Mm. If it had lasted for one minute, you can read books, you can do Kigal <laughs> exercises, you can you can see a professional, mm-hmm. you can so many things that you can do. Right, right. So I think that if you tried it once and it didn't work, it mm-hmm. doesn't mean it. Even if there, you caught a stench, mm-hmm. you can go to the hospital one a uh, med- medical doctor with one pill can change everything. <laughs> yeah, the man can go to the, and mm-hmm. you are honest, right? Because once you love someone, mm-hmm. once you come to a place where you truly love someone, for example, I love my wife. Mm-hmm. No matter what she changes into, right. I love her. Mm-hmm. It has nothing to do with her body. It has nothing to do with with, with her emotions. Mm. It just her mind. And her spirit. Right. I am right. there with her at that level. Mm. So the physical, physicality is nothing. Mm. In a long-term mm. relationship, it means nothing. Mm. Because mm. There, there, there are times that my wife and I, we shag every day. You know? <laughs> but when the spark is gone, there's no sex. It right. doesn't mean anything. Mm. Because we are probably both fixated on starting a new business, mm. on our children's education. Or it, we, mm. yeah. we are not there mentally. It doesn't mm. mean anything. Right, right, you know? right. So, uh, sex is good. Mm-hmm. Sex is great for mm-hmm. marriage. It helps flower it yeah. and it perfumes it. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. it is not the most important. The most important thing is mental resilience right. and complete presence of order. Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you disagree, like don't that. you? No, no, no. I like it. I just feel like sometimes, especially as Africans, we don't necessarily open up and talk about a lot of these things. So, often we find out things when we're already married and by then it's too late. Because how many of us can say our parents beforehand sat us down and said this, that and the other about marriage, be careful of this or do this or don't do that. And so that's when this whole talk of modern woman comes in because, you know, the modern woman is too opinionated about things, whereas the traditional woman wouldn't be. And a lot of people see that the traditional woman just obeys, she submits and she obeys to her husband. And I'm going to say something here, which you guys might kill me, but please don't kill me. Okay. I see a lot of Ghanaian girls as being a little bit timid at times and not necessarily being able to say what they want to say and just going with something because the family said so or because the man has got money or whatever. And then they get themselves into situations where they're not happy. It's too late. I, I don't call it timid. I call it strategic. Okay. I call it stretch when a, an intelligent woman intentionally makes him herself vulnerable, mm-hmm. so that a rich man would take him, would take <laughs> her into his house, mm-hmm. and then she would drive the Ferrari and mm-hmm. later complain that she's become the couch. I think it's strategic. It's just a counter um, productive strategy. Right. You know, I 
if you spend time with my wife, mm -hmm. my wife is opinionated. Yeah. My wife is tough. She's very... She's not a, a walk in the park. I don't mm -hmm. want to be married to a woman without her own opinion. Yeah. yeah. Because the hope of, from observing my marriage, mm -hmm. I realized that the most important benefit mm -hmm. that I have had for my marriage is yeah. that I have a best friend who can tell me your breath stinks. <laughs> you know, I have a best friend who can tell me that this action of yours is stupid. Right. I have a best friend who can tell me that mm -hmm. this plan of yours will fail. Right. I have a best friend who can tell me that mm -hmm. this friend of yours is fake. Right. You know, and that gives me the opportunity to observe myself mm. without the presence of myself. Right. And if you are going into a relationship and you are looking for a timid woman, mm -hmm. you are looking for a woman who has intentionally, mm -hmm. you know, through adaptation, mm -hmm. made herself soft so that you can marry her for her to show you yeah. who she actually is in mm -hmm. the future, then you are picking wrongly. Right. I want a tough woman. Mm -hmm. Yes, I want a woman who can stand up to my ideas right. and tell me I'm not intelligent so that I can pick a book. <laughs> you know, so mm -hmm. it depends. I mean, for mm -hmm. being married, 14 years is not such a long time. We've been together for 18 years. Mm -hmm. And observing my wife, yeah. she's the toughest person to deal with. All mm -hmm. the people I've met in my <laughs> life, there's she's none strong. as tough or mm -hmm. as strong as my wife. Yeah. But that is what makes her amazing. Yeah, she is. I mean, in our interactions, I mean, we're still kind of getting to know each other. But I really, really like her so much. She's very to the point. She will tell you as it is. I remember, in fact, when I um, came to her about my situation and I was, we were going to, I was, you know, we we're going to have a split between myself and my husband. I spoke to her. I was busy. I was, I was crying and stuff like that. And I was like, but how can I walk away from something that's been this many years? And she was like, it's just a number. <laughs> if you're in a, yeah, if you're in a relationship and it's not working, why are you going to suffer yourself? It doesn't. You, you know, you can't. So she gave me some really tough words. She was very direct with me. She's direct? Yeah, she looked past the tears and she told me what I needed to hear. And that was it. Exactly. And I want you to imagine spending the rest of your life with <laughs> that type of woman. Oh, you leave know. me alone, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you. So, mm -hmm. but that very demon mm -hmm. is the same angel. Yes, you yes. Know, that, it's a, depending on how you position yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was marrying my wife, yeah. her father called me. Mm -hmm. A month before we got married and said, I've seen you. You were soft. You can't marry my daughter. Mm. You are not tough enough. Wow. And she, so he asked me, have you seen her? That <laughs> side of her. Right. She, he used this very well. She is thy will. Wow. Thy will be done. Wow. You know, so I, two weeks later, he called me again and said, have mm. you seen it? Mm -hmm. And I said, I've not seen it. He said, if you marry my, my daughter, mm -hmm. never bring her back to me because she's tough. Mm -hmm. Because I told you, mm -hmm. you know, and I took it. Seven years later, yeah. he called me to find out if I've, I had seen it. I said, <laughs> I've not seen it. He said, ah, <laughs> foolish boy. Now you are suffering. Eh? <laughs> yeah. so that is mm -hmm. the type of woman that I want. Right. I don't want a walkover. Mm -hmm. I want an intelligent woman mm. who knows what she wants, mm. who can correct me when I'm wrong, right. who can observe me mm -hmm. and tell me I'm full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right? Exactly. Yes. You know, it's very true. So at any point in the early stages of marriage, did you ever feel like returning the product? All the time. <laughs> I feel like that right now. <laughs> I feel, sometimes, sometimes, mm -hmm. uh, because, because, we, I went into the relationship with expectations, mm. with uh, judgments, mm. with, with programming, right, with right. counseling of my tradition, of my culture, of my history, mm -hmm. with, with, with a certain judgment mm -hmm. of what should happen. Right. So I was marrying a short, mm -hmm. productive, assertive, Akan woman that I wanted to bully. Mm -hmm. That was my <laughs> idea right. of what a wife is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And then I came... I touched the waters and realized it was shark infested. You right. know, it became like a cultural shock for me mm. to know that my wife was going to run everything. Right. She was going to run me. I wasn't going to run anything. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, I was the horse. She was the one riding it. Right, it right. took me a long time. Even mm. actually at a point, I almost became depressed mm -hmm. from observing that my marriage will not go the way I had imagined it to go. Mm. You know, so I had to now begin to look at some of the factors that had programmed me to be that stupid. 
to <laughs> think that life was going to happen my way because I was special. Right, right. You know, so some of the things that I realized that programmed me like that was one religion mm-hmm. that tells me that a woman should respect the husband, the husband should respect, and you know, mm. things like that. Right. Was my tradition mm. that tells me that I can have three more wives and mm-hmm. she can't. Right. She can't even imagine right. um, having sex with another man, mm. or, or you know, she yeah, that you know the the culture mm-hmm. that tells me that I am the head of the family, I'm mm. the lord, mm. you know, and and she's even supposed to call me Mira, which means my owner or my lord, hey. you know. So all these things. Mm-hmm. had programmed me to have a certain expectation. Mm. So I had to now unlearn it. Right. And, and through that unlearning, I became this fire me mm-hmm. that is susceptible and re- re- receptive to everything that my wife is. Right. So when I wake up in the morning and she's a witch, she's my wife. When I wake <laughs> up in the morning, she's an angel, she's my wife. Right. When she's fighting with me mm-hmm. over the money, she's my wife. When the yeah. business is not going well and mm-hmm. she puts her foot down, she's my wife. Right. Whatever it is that she becomes tomorrow, mm-hmm. I love it. Right. You know, so, but I had to go through a, a cleansing process mm. of deleting my, my traditional religious and cultural mm. conditioning to come to this place. So do you think that by you making so much change, it makes you soft? No, I think that, that it makes me tough because mm-hmm. when she starts to fight and mm-hmm. I hold her head and I give her a kiss, she mm-hmm. says, leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. so uh, someone watching mm-hmm. might think that I'm soft. Mm-hmm. But I think I am hard. Right. I, I, because I have mental resilience, mm-hmm. I have a bit more foresight. Because don't forget, mm-hmm. foresight is also insight. Yes. You know, so mm-hmm. I have a bit more insight in mm-hmm. what the, the, the struggle or the conflict is going to bring. Mm-hmm. Therefore, I'm tough. So sometimes before I say some hateful words to her, yeah. I pause for five seconds. Mm-hmm. Say it in my head mm-hmm. and look at the effects of those hateful words yeah. on her on me, Mm -hmm. on the friendship, on the kids, Mm. on the future, on the business. So by the time I'm done evaluating all this, Mm -hmm. I've come to my senses. Right. Then I say, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. There are mornings that I wake up to see Annie, I'm sorry. She said, for what? For all the wrong things I will do in the future. (laughs) It doesn't make me soft. Yeah. Because I want my relationship to work Mm. no matter what. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. So I'm going to break my own rules. I'm a person that never writes anything down. I don't write questions down. I don't write anything down because I like to free flow on stuff. But today I wrote something down. In fact, these are some comments from some of the previous videos that I did. And I'd like you to answer some of them for me. Okay. Some of these are statements. So we'll see. Okay. So the first one said, modern women keep other women single. Do you think that that's true? I think that we cannot blame the food for obesity. Mm, I, yes. Hey, where'd you get these white words <laughs> from? Tell us, slide me a few, man. Ah, we, what? We, we, can, we can't blame social media for addiction. Mm, we can't. Right. Modern women do what modern women do. Right. They get an effect of what they are doing. Mm-hmm. The other women who program and prepare and condition themselves for wholesome relationships, Mm -hmm. they get it. Right. You know, so I don't think that a boy Mm -hmm. who has not really uh, completed the, 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 the production or the generation of his frontal cortex, mm-hmm. therefore doesn't know what the social values and social, you know, conducts good mm-hmm. and bad are. Right. Observing a mother who is cheating on the father mm-hmm. might decide that mm-hmm. hmm, one day I won't get married. Right. But when he meets an amazing girl mm-hmm. or when he grows up, when he reads a good book, mm-hmm. when he hears a good story, when he, he meets objective truth, yeah. there's some fire burning in him. Mm-hmm. You know, so I think that what people do individually because of their orientation and their goal, yeah. we shouldn't we shouldn't sort of try to pin it mm-hmm. on other people. Right. We, we mm-hmm. need to be responsible for things we have done. Exactly. And if you get to a point where you can say that I did this, my my husband went to sleep with another woman. Mm-hmm. He has not cheated on me. Mm-hmm. He has cheated on himself mm-hmm. of the opportunity to be with a great person like me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. Once you get to that point, mm-hmm. you blame no one. Yeah. You know, so right. modern women should not be blamed mm-hmm. for modern men not getting married. Right. Because it is modern men's responsibility to mm-hmm. read 
to know, mm -hmm. to find out, right. so that he can have an amazing woman for a wife. Mm. I like that. Hey, smart Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So, do you think marriage is fifty-fifty, or it should always be fifty-fifty? No, I, I don't think so. I don't. I don't think marriage should be. There, there are times that before I became this guy, mm -hmm. I used to fight with my wife all the time. Mm. I love you more than you love me. Mm. I ask for sex more than you ask for sex. Mm. Why am I the one, only one who is testing you? Right. Why am I? You know. Mm. And then sometimes it will shift, and for the next two years mm -hmm. or the next two months, she's also the one doing it. Uh, <laughs> and then she's mm. coming to compete. Okay. Why am I the one asking for this? Right. I don't think that marriage is a transaction. Okay. It is not, that's a business, that's a trade. Right. I think marriage should be conducted on the tenets of love, mm. which means I promise mm -hmm. to be an amazing friend mm -hmm. to support, to promote, and to help you blossom mm. no matter what happens. Right. So whether the partner is giving back, mm -hmm. receiving it well, being sluggish, mm. being snobbish, mm -hmm. if I've promised to love you, yeah. it must always be present. Even when you have gone to sleep with another person, mm -hmm. even when you have married another person mm -hmm. and you are not in another man's home, mm -hmm. if I loved you, at this point, our love shouldn't be physical. Right. But that spiritual connection that we have, well, we had to be good to each other mm. sh should be there, whether you are good to me or not. So mm. it shouldn't be 50-50. Mm. No one should measure it. Psychological yeah. measurement in relationships yeah. is one of the key things that mm. destroy relationships. Mm. No one should measure right. intake mm -hmm. or yeah. outpour yeah. Yeah. because it is love. Then you feel you know, like it's not fair. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, to, to love mm -hmm. means... To give to someone who can never repay you. That's it. That is what love Beautiful. means. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. I like that. Okay. So do you feel that men are simple and direct beings? Do you think or do you think women are just way too complicated for men? <laughs> I, I, th I think human beings are complicated. However, from being a man, mm -hmm. I could be biased to think that men are more simple mm -hmm. because I have seen that we are a bit more logical. Mm -hmm. But being logical doesn't make you less complicated. Mm -hmm. Because women use a lot of intuition. Mm -hmm. They are emotional. Right. That, mm -hmm. And being emotional doesn't make you more complicated. Mm -hmm. You know, I just think that, very good yes, I don't think that human beings do not learn the most important things we are supposed to learn. I mm. went to school, I studied accounting, accounting mm. geography, literature. Mm. None of that yeah. was targeted at making me a beautiful being. Right. That is a pleasurable experience upon myself and to others. Mm -hmm. None of that. Mm -hmm. So I think that the, the human beings must be neuroscience and mm. psychology and philosophy right. must be introduced to human beings at age one. Right. So that by the time you are 25, and your frontal cortex is built and your brain is complete. Mm. You are a complete human being who knows, who has, who, who's, who have fellow feeling. Mm, mm, mm. And once you have fellow feeling, yeah. you are the simplest person to be with. Right. So yeah. it's just that it's not about an issue of feminine energy or mm. masculine energy. Both energies have their responsibilities. Mm. Both energies, some, one of it is fire, sometimes yeah. the other is water. Mm. But it is only when both energies have come together. Mm -hmm. That is when we have the divine. Right. You know, right. so all human beings are complicated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all it's of us. true. It's yes, true. all of us are complicated. So someone said this, which I think is very interesting. They said mothers can't raise children because caring is not about raising. Yes. It's so the, 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 basically what they're trying to say is that it's men that raise children and not women because women only care. That's not true. I think, I think we need to even look at first the word raise. Mm. It's not livestock. Mm -hmm. We don't raise <laughs> our children. We mm -hmm. nurture them mm -hmm. into beautiful beings mm -hmm. with compassion, with love, with understanding and right. fellow feeling. Mm. That's not got to do with raising. Raising mm. is about giving food right. and observing and making sure that they grow tall. Right, right. It's nurturing, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So, and whose responsibility is it to nurture? Mm. It is both parents. Right, right. So the man, the presence of the man and the presence of the woman mm -hmm. in the home together yeah. will give these children the balance mm. that they need. Okay, so yeah. it's not about men trying to think that they are the ones who to raise children. Mm. No, 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 mm. both. But to me, mm. I think that if 
probably something has happened and a man is not in the picture. Right. If the woman is sane, mm. she must be the one with the children. Right. Because I have never seen a male snake with his children wow. or a male lion with his children. Mm. I've never seen a male dog with his children. Mm. I've never seen a male hen with his children. Mm. In, in look, observing the animal nature, right. children are with women. Mm. Why? Because they have the milk, mm. because they have the intuition, right. because they have the intelligence mm. to nurture them Right. To have a beautiful spirit. Mm. The man is already a gatherer. He's, right. a, he's a hunter. Mm. He's always out there yeah. trying yeah. to look for food. That is his responsibility. Mm. To look for protein, mm. to look for food, to look for money. Mm. You know, to be out there to protect yeah. the children and the wife. And the woman's mm -hmm. responsibility is to nurture this children, give them education and culture mm. and tradition and personality. And, mm. you know, so it is, it is a culminating effect of both energies. Right, right. So that is what I think we should strive for. Mm. But if something has happened and a woman and the man is not in the picture, mm. the woman should take care of the kids. <laughs> I agree on that, I yes. must say. <laughs> right. Okay, just a final one. Someone said, a woman's purpose is to marry and have kids. Without it, there's no reason for her existence. It, it, feels, harsh. it feels like a man wrote this. Or if, <laughs> a, or if a woman wrote mm -hmm. it, she was probably nurtured <laughs> or raised, raised. Uh -huh. by a man. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Or she's been watching too many male-dominated movies. I, I don't know. Or she comes from a, a, a patriarchal, mm. you know, family setting or culture. Mm -hmm. A woman's purpose is to do whatever the hell she wants. Set by a man. <laughs> Whatever the hell, if she wants mm -hmm. to go through the corporate ladder and become CEO of mm -hmm. a multinational, become a lawyer, a mm -hmm. doctor, a carpenter, a driver, mm -hmm. and she does, she's not interested in having kids, mm -hmm. or, that's what she wants to do. Right, right. No one should force another mm -hmm. person, another sex, another <laughs> gender, mm -hmm. and, and take, superimpose their purpose on them. Right. A, mm -hmm. a human being's purpose is do whatever the hell they want to do. Exactly. It's not. Mm. To, but if that woman wants to have children mm. and wants to be a wife, mm -hmm. that is also beautiful. Right. Right. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. I think, yes. I think that's fair. And I'm glad that you've said it. And I didn't have to say it. <laughs> I didn't have to say it. You said it. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I feel like sometimes there's a whole pressure in society where... A woman of a particular age, like, why are you not married yet? Why have you not had children yet? What's going on? Is something wrong with you? Are you lesbian? Or, do you know, that, that whole pressure from society can become too much. And a woman's not necessarily free to say, I'm going to have a career. Um, I think that what happened was just 60 years ago, there were only 6 million people in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Now we are 32 million. So what happened was that a long, 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 long time ago, mm -hmm. according to the Bible, there were two people. Mm -hmm. And they gave birth to another two and another <laughs> four and another five. Yeah. So it was eminent mm -hmm. that the society will promote, mm -hmm. you know, big families. Mm -hmm. But now we are eight billion. Right. The size of the earth is mm -hmm. not increasing. Mm -hmm. Our numbers are increasing. Yeah. Medicine is increasing. Mm -hmm. Technology is increasing. Mm -hmm. Our, you know, that the amount of years that we spend on earth now when you go to um, developed countries is mm -hmm. like 82 Mm. Therefore, if we keep forcing women mm -hmm. to give birth to three, four, five, six mm. children, mm. what is going to happen is that all this conversation on climate change and sustainability, mm. and so we need to let the ones who want to give birth, give birth. And right. the ones who do not want to give birth, live their lives the way they want to live it. Yeah. Because the, 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 the consciousness, mm -hmm. you know, the general consciousness of the people knows what is good for the people. Mm, Therefore, mm. when people are allowed to do what they want to do, but what happens, the system is afraid mm -hmm. when there's freedom in yeah. the system because with freedom, you can't force people to do what you want them to do. Right, right, you know, right. so we need to leave women alone. Mm. We need to leave boys alone. Mm -hmm. We need to leave everyone alone yeah. to do what they want if it is not illegal. Mm. Yes. I like that. That's a very good answer. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show today. You've been amazing. I feel like you've been open. You've taken 
what I've thrown at you. So that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> and you've, you've thrown, I'm going to be in a uh, lot of uh, trouble. I but know, I, right? <laughs> <laughs> but a, lot of, a lot of these ideas. Yes, yes. But hey, my no, keep saying, good. my sample space is just one. Right. It's just the way I feel. Right, exactly. You know? so if mm -hmm. it doesn't resonate with you, mm -hmm. then it means you feel different. Exactly, yes. exactly. It's your opinion and that's yes. fine. So where can people find you if they want to hear more from you? Oh, uh, so you can, you can hit me up on mm -hmm. social media, mm -hmm. Instagram, Ochiame Kwame, mm -hmm. Twitter, Ochiame Kwame, mm -hmm. Facebook, Ochiame Kwame. Mm -hmm. You can also buy my book, Love Lockdown, yeah. which I wrote with my beautiful wife. Mm -hmm. And it's available on Amazon. It's available in Ghana, in all bookshops, okay. EPP, everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, so, and you can also find me on YouTube, Ochiame okay. Kwame. I'm trying to also start a podcast called oh, OK yeah. Today. Hey, you know, I so, like it. Okay today. So you can find me on OK Today. I mm -hmm. hope by the time you, you broadcast this, yes. OK Today will be ready. Right. If it isn't, mm -hmm. find me on Ochiame Kwame. Follow, subscribe, mm -hmm. watch my music, go yeah. to iTunes, Spotify, listen to my music. School mm -hmm. fees is up. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want his phone number, it's 020. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to talk to me today, come find me. <laughs> yeah. yes. No problem. We no are problem. great friends. Yes, we are. I, I want to assume we are great well, friends. Of course, we yes. are. And we I, are, definitely. And I, I want you to dash your daughter to me. <laughs> <laughs> please, please. Our daughters <laughs> get along so well. Please. Yes. Take up some time. Give me a break. <laughs> no, I love it. Thank yes. you so much. Thank Guys, you. that is the end of today's show. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Feel free to watch it twice if you need to watch it. There's some great gems in there, some great things to learn about. But if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, I would love it if you would do me a favor. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Don't forget to also like, comment and share this video. Until next time, I am out. Nuti Fafa. <laughs> Thank you.